Dr. Document Camera here today. What I want to show you is how to set up your Elmo Document Camera. I get a lot of people asking questions about it. It's real easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First, we've got our brand new Elmo right here. Now, this is an Elmo LX1, but if you've got a TT12, the directions are going to be basically the same, just a different camera. First, we're going to open our box. We're going to remove the cardboard, and you'll see on the inside, we've got our packing material. Over here, we have our instruction manual, as well as some warranty information. And here, we've got our cables. There's a USB cable, as well as the power supply. You're definitely going to need that, so set that aside. We're going to remove the inner packing material here. Just toss that aside for now. And there's our camera, laying right inside. So you never want to grab it by the, the arm that has the camera itself. So you want to try to grab it by the base and then just support the top part of it. I'm going to lift it up out of the box. Get rid of that too. Here we go. So we can remove this foam-like material there to protect it during shipping. One more thing. Don't throw away the box yet. Make sure the thing works first. And there you have it. There's our Elmo LX1. So we're just going to adjust this here put it in our usable position, and we're all set. Now we're just about the whole way there, so I told you it was pretty easy. Next, we're gonna take our cables. First is the power supply, next is the USB cable. Now, if you're gonna connect this Elmo to your computer, you're gonna use this USB cable. If you're gonna connect it to your projector or LCD screen, like I'm gonna do, you can use a video cable. Those are not included with this Elmo, so you'll have to use one that you already have, or luckily for you, we sell those here at Touchboards too, so we can get you one. First, let's look at the power supply. In this bag, we have the cord that'll plug into your outlet. All right, now this is the converter that plugs into the Elmo itself. So we're gonna take our other power cord, plug it into here, and then you take the round end, plug it into the power port on the back of the Elmo itself. Our Elmo has power. You'll see the power button here it lights up in red around the outside. That way you know it's plugged in. Now, I'm using HDMI. You're welcome to use VGA. The Elmo has both. If you look on the back panel here, this is your VGA port. It's blue and has two screw holes next to it. This here is our HDMI port. It's kind of skinny and wide. That's your high def port right there. That's what you're gonna get the best performance out of. And you're just gonna take that cable and plug it right in to the HDMI port on the back of the Elmo. All right, so now that our Elmo is all connected to our LCD display behind me, I'm gonna turn it on. So our power button on here that's lit up in red, we're just gonna press that. The outer ring will turn blue. That means the power's on. And we just have to wait for our TV to find the signal and you'll be all set. So, let's give you a quick rundown of how it works. This is the camera head, and that can rotate like so. You can also bend it down this way, and you can bring the arm forward, so you can get real up close and personal with whatever you might happen to be looking at. Now, on the end here, there's this black piece, and this little button on the end. This button is your autofocus, right where my finger is. And then you can rotate this piece forward and back to adjust your optical zoom. You probably see it moving on the screen behind me. There's an autofocus button on here. We have button for brightness. You can flip the image upside down or right side up. And here's your menu button. That's going to let you access settings like your resolution, uh, USB settings if you're going to use that, and a couple other tools you might need. All that information can be found in your manual, which came in the box in this bag. So there you have it. That's how you set up your Elmo with video cable. Next, I'm going to show you how to set it up to your computer with USB. Okay, so we know a lot of these Elmos that exist out in the world are connected directly to computers. And in a lot of classrooms, it's just easier that way because you might have a projector up in the ceiling that's hardwired in. It's easier to just take this, plug it into that, and call it a day. That's why Elmo includes the USB cable. This is super easy. We're going to look at that other port we didn't look at before, this square-shaped port. We're just going to plug it into there. 
Now the other end of that USB cable gets plugged into your computer. And we're all set. Now you will need to install the ImageMate 4 software. Now that doesn't come on a disc, you'd have to download it from elmousa.com. But we've already done that to save some time. And it's right there. So once that opens up, as it's doing now, we'll turn on our camera. Again, we're going to push the power button, make sure the ring around it turns blue. And once it boots up, the computer should detect it and we'll see it come up on the screen here in just a moment. It shows up as TX1 slash LX1. So what the software did is it automatically opened up the window with the camera and it pulled up our image right here. So here we have it. There's our live image from the Elmo. See my hand moving around right there? You can zoom in and out as I showed you before. We have a toolbar on the side of our screen. The nice part about having it connected to your computer, you can store images and video right on that computer. The other nice thing is if you have a smart board or an interactive whiteboard, you can have all of this showing up on your interactive display and all you have to do is touch these images or these icons on the side to control the camera. So in other words, over here we have the image flip. I can just tap that icon and it flips the image around for us. You can imagine standing in front of your class at your interactive board and doing the same thing. You don't have to walk back and forth to the camera. So Elmo makes it nice and easy for you. So there you have it. That's a quick rundown on how to set up your brand new Elmo. Again, you can use USB or video. Doesn't matter. Either one's going to work fine. But as you saw from here, it's pretty easy to set it up. Now all you got to do is just remember what all these buttons do. <laughs>